TV.com. I have Greg in front of the camera. He has kind of a unique uh, art form going here. It's uh, some necklaces and some, uh, are these watch bands, Greg, or what are they? They're uh, bracelets. Bracelets? Leather bracelets made out of recycled belts. That's a good idea, recycled belts, huh? And they're really nice. Uh, Thank you. Pr pretty different, different kind of a unique style. So that's you. kind of a, a, kind of a, a usual thing you're doing. You're, so you're looking for old belts all the time, huh? Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. And you also do some nice rings there, huh? Yeah, I work in uh, sterling silver, brass, and copper with some stones and glass. Oh, yeah? You must have a like, little studio someplace that you put all this stuff together, huh? Yeah, I have a, a studio in the old high school in Jerome. Oh, do you really? I rent a studio up there. It's called Art Exposure Arizona. Oh, yeah, I've been there before. Yeah. That one, that, that, that one I forget his name, he's pretty well known. Mark Hamlivan? Yeah. I'm right across the hall from Mark. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty that's a good that's a good idea to have a bunch of artists in that location. So if uh, so you're always looking if you're going to a lot of different thrift stores looking for old belts all the time, huh? Correct. I do. I buy belts. Uh, whenever I find belts in good deal I buy them. You buy them? Yeah. <laughs> you can probably use some of my old belts. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> possibly. If somebody wants to get you a hold of you, Craig, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can contact me at 928-300-8628 is my uh, phone number. Your, your phone number? You, you live in Jerome? I live in Clarkdale. You live in Clarkdale? Correct. That's not too far, is it? Yeah. Huh? So how long have you been doing this? I've been working in various mediums for over 30 years. I started out with polymer clay, which is this section right here is uh, yeah. polymer clay, and then about two years ago been working in mosaics and about two years ago I moved into metals and started doing uh, riveted and soldered jewelry. Hmm. Well here's, here's the big question. It's, it, it's really a big question because uh, I, I've talked to hundreds of artists and there's not too many artists who actually make a living off their art. Mm -hmm. Are you one of the fortunate ones that can make a living off of it? I'm not there yet, but not I am yet? working on it. I'm a, a full-time server and bartender in Jerome. Oh, are you really? Right. Okay. You have your head right This is something you love doing. Yeah. But you got to pay the bills. Correct. <laughs> and uh, serving and bartending is what's paying the bills. I, however, I'm working up to being able to do this. And I also do teach art classes, so that's... Oh, yeah? I teach art classes in my studio in polymer clay. Oh. If someone wants to get held into your art class, how, how can... Same number? Same number. Same yeah. number? Okay. Yeah. You're just young people, old people, everybody, huh? Anybody. Anybody, Anybody who wants to learn how to work with clay and, you know, experience some creativity, feel free to call me. Oh, great. Okay, thanks, Craig. And uh, have a good show. Thank you.